Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Microsoft. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday the 14th of June, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 14, 2024, our system has ranked Microsoft as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 2.32. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 6.24%. This translates to an average return of 0.27% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock has broken the horizontal trend up. Breaks like this are often followed by swift and strong movements and any correction down to the break line at approximately $432.59 is considered to be a second chance to hit a potential runner. It is, however, important that volume does follow the price as false breaks may appear and it may move back into the horizontal trend. Based on the rectangle formation theory, the stock is predicted to reach $471.71 sometime during the next three months. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 1.92% change over the next three months, with a possible return between negative 9.39% and negative 0.378%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 34.76% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 21.71% and 43.35%. This translates to a price range of $538.66 to $634.42 after a year. Our latest daily update for Microsoft includes the headline, Microsoft stock price ended at $442.57 on Friday after gaining 0.224%. The Microsoft stock price gained 0.224% on the last trading day, Friday, 14th June 2024, rising from $441.58 to $442.57. It has now gained five days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 1.47% from a day low at $436.72 to a day high of $443.14. The price has risen in eight of the last 10 days and is up by 6.61% over the past two weeks. Volume fell on the last day by negative 2 million shares, and in total, 13 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $5,960,000,000. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $443.40, and the lowest price was $309.45. Currently, the price is 0.19%, or 83 cents, below the 52-week high of $443.40, which is also the all-time high for the stock. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, June 13, 2024, it was reported that Tigress Financial gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. On Friday, June 7, 2024, it was reported that New Street gave Microsoft a buy grade with an initialize action. On Friday, June 7, 2024, it was reported that Oppenheimer gave Microsoft an outperform grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, June 4, 
2024, it was reported that Barclays gave Microsoft an overweight grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, May 28, 2024, it was reported that Citigroup gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Microsoft stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong buy rating. The following signals have been identified from Microsoft. The Microsoft stock holds buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals, where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $433.45 and $419.18. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Monday, June 3, 2024, and so far it has risen 7.03%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day, despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price, and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal, pivots, buy signal 10 days ago, Bollinger, buy signal one day ago, short-term moving average, buy signal nine days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal 26 days ago, the relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 24 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal nine days ago, the long term moving average, buy signal 31 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 156 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support risk and stop loss for Microsoft. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $416.42 and $415.13. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Microsoft finds support just below today's level at $416.42. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $415.13 and $399.04. In general, the stock tends to have very controlled movements, and with good liquidity, the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved $6.42 between high and low, or 1.47%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.50%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Microsoft, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. This is a relatively normal PE ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2024 is expected on July 23, 2024. Analyst consensus estimates are at $2.90. Keep an eye on these numbers as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Microsoft. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, Microsoft encounters its first support level at $416.42. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, 
anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating from Microsoft from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On June 7, 2024, Walmsley Emma N conducted an insider buy of 13,861 shares of restricted stock units. On June 7, 2024, Stanton John W conducted an insider buy of 138 shares of common stock. On June 7, 2024, Sharf Charles W conducted an insider buy of 138 shares of common stock. On June 7, 2024, Rodriguez Carlos A conducted an insider buy of 241,831 shares of restricted stock units. On June 7, 2024, Pritzker Penny S conducted an insider buy of 227,085 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative, with a ratio of negative 38.707. Overall, Insiders purchased 111,467 shares and sold 204,298 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $421.87, minus 4.68%. This stock has low daily movements resulting in low risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom identified 16 days ago. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Several short-term signals are positive and the stock has broken the horizontal trend up, which indicates an even stronger rate of rising. We conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Microsoft stock to perform well in the short-term period. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Monday, June 17th, we expect Microsoft to open down negative $1.76 and start trading at $440.81. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.